today I'll be showing you a project that I've been working on, but I hope that you all are doing well today and are having a lovely day so far. It is a beautiful morning today. It is cloudy outside, but it's cooling off and I love the cool weather. It's so beautiful. I appreciate and I am so grateful for each and every one of you and I'm so grateful for today. So I've been working on this project and this digital is from the Gingerbread Prince and I will leave all the links in my description box where you can get uh, these kits. I use two different kits um, that I purchased from the Gingerbread Prince. So the first thing I did was made a shabby chic hanging like a sachet um, just a, a beautiful hanging here where you can hang it up or put it on your Christmas tree and it's not scented I did fill it up with some fluff so it'll give it some dimension and these are glass beads and they're vintage and here's a rosette flower and I used some vintage laces and uh, put a flower here in this gimp trim and this image is from Ivy and on the back so you can hang it either way it's pretty on both sides so this is included in the kit and all of this will be available in my Etsy shop if you're interested And then I made, so this journal is called Annabella's Vintage Lace Journal. So it's all done with vintage laces. If you from Jennifer out of Traces Sparkle, her tea dyed laces, it went well with the kit. It's so pretty. And this lace right here is from Sierra and they're French vintage laces and they're just gorgeous. So here is a vintage lace sampler book. So I made two clips for this lace sample book. So you just unclip it like this and here's the clip. And these are vintage appliques. So the first sample is this one here and you can see right here made in France. They're so fun and so beautiful to play with. And here's the other one here. This is a beautiful a beautiful color. I love this color. So I'm a lace fan for sure. And here is another, I love lace. It's just so, so feminine and gorgeous. I, I love lace. So I sewed around the batting. I put the batting down and the lace on top and on bottom and sewed it. And a ribbon, satin ribbon closures here. So here's a different, see it's a different color. So it's pretty. So let me clip this one back on here. And here's the second clip. And here are some more samples, lace samples. So on the first side you get two and on the second side you get three. Annabella likes to share. But they're so pretty and the nude colors are just gorgeous. I love these colors. They're so pretty. And then you just clip it back on here like this. So I hope that you like the vintage lace sampler book. And here's the journal. 
I made a snippet flower. No, it's not a snippet flower. And here's a flower that I made. It's it's not a snippet flower. It's vintage lace, and this is my mom's lace. And she sewed vintage lace around this uh, beautiful fabric that she pleated. It's very soft chiffon. And I put in two different sizes of pearls, and they hang past the bag. So here's the flower. And there's a doily and a clip on the back. And you can remove the pearls if you wish. So it's like a beautiful cream colors. It's just gorgeous. But I wanted to show you something. The, the, the little spool of pearls here is vintage. So this spool it's either 70s or 80s, but I just wanted to share this with you because even the spool is uh, vintage. I like the little um, staining on it. I think it's so pretty. I just wanted to share that with you. And then this is my mom's lace that she made. I think she was making it for a project. So she sewed the lace on, uh, she mis machine sewed it on, but it's so pretty, and I have it wrapped on a, just a piece of cardboard. I want to paint it, the cardboard. See, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So my mom left me her pleater, too, and I tried uh, the pleating, and... It's very fun, so I'll have to pleat some some more fabric and laces, and I just wanted to share that with you because it's special to me, and um, I just wanted to share that. So here's the bag that I made for the journal. It's a drawstring bag, and then beautiful white lace over the white 100% cotton bag and I used the same satin ribbon as I did for the lace sampler book and inside is the journal let's see let's pull this out and fluff it back up all right So here is Annabella. This is Annabella's journal. The colors are just beautiful. And I used vintage appliques and made a snippet flower for the cover and it's not removable, it's permanent. And on the side I used more vintage lace and through the holes of the lace I um, put through little satin ribbon and made a bow and it's permanent. And here's the back. Isn't that pretty? And then you can see Jennifer's tea dyed lace here. It's just so pretty. And then I added my mom's lace down here as well in the corner. It's so pretty. And then here's the side. And I used vintage chiffon for a closure. So let's go ahead and open this up. I love the sparkles on the applique. Can you see that? Yeah. So pretty. And on the front here, I put a a tassel with a an antique heart charm on a white bulb pin with some vintage lace and I used these flower appliques for a closure so you could write on all these pages It'd be so pretty 
an uh, applique here. I love the wallpaper. It's so pretty. And then again, I used the top of my mom's uh, lace here. I just cut the top off and made a bow. And there's, a, the, both the kits come with lots of ephemera. I just added, it comes with stickers, so I added stickers to the ephemera. So feminine and so pretty. And I added a vintage lace pocket down here from France. And over here, I added a pearl drop on a white bulb pin with my mom's lace again. And this is lace from Jennifer, and it could be used for a tuck spot. Look at the beautiful hunter green. It looks like a hunter green color going into the creams. Here's Annabella and her friend. Oh, oh, and then there's the blue up here with the cream. And let's see, I put an applique up here in this beautiful pocket that came with the kit. And here's two more journaling cards. You can write on the front of that. And over here in this pocket is this uh, beautiful tea dyed trim from Jennifer. And I turned it into a pocket. And here's a small journaling card. I love the colors. And these are stickers. So you can place them anywhere you wish in your journal. Isn't that pretty? And then this as well, you can make this into a journaling tag or a pocket. It would be nice to put it up or in a corner and add some lace up here or something. That is a beautiful cluster right there. Let me see if I can bring it in a little bit. There we go. So she collaged uh, gingerbread prints. She collaged the applique with beautiful flowers. I love these colors. They're so pretty together. There's Annabella there. And this says beauty is good for the soul. And here's more vintage lace from France that I sewed. And it could be used as a tuck spot as well. And here I made a vintage lace uh, notepad. So here is the front and the back. And you just flip it up like this. And you have natural fiber papers that are in cream. And coffee dyed papers as well. And then there's that image. So pretty. The collaging is gorgeous. Excuse me. I love all the roses. They're so pretty. The pearls and the lace. And here's some more um, vintage lace from France. And in this pocket here, I put some journaling cards. A little rose sticker.
so so much fun and then on this page and like I said you can write on all these and put a paper clip and a journaling tag there in this envelope here and inside is a very small postcard and these are mine with my lace I made um, digital printouts with that so the little tags there and here's another journaling card so that is fun oops forgot one cute little envelope And then here's the middle signature. I will leave the measurements of this journal in my description box. These colors are so pretty. And I sewed in the signature with a sewing machine. And here's more lace that Jennifer T. dyed. It went so well with this kit. And this says, Choose to Shine. And I made a pocket down here with two flat back pearls. And here are some journaling cards. And here's a, a lace tuck here. So here's another, you could turn this into a journaling card or um, a tuck spot. And here's some more of my journaling tags that I made, digital printout. So that's so much fun to play with. And then on this page, look at the colors, aren't they pretty? So aesthetically pleasing. Um, I made a belly band out of an applique, and this is from Jennifer. She tea dyed this, and it's just, it's gorgeous. And then here's another envelope. And on the inside of this one, are these sentiments, one day at a time, live what you love. So you could put those anywhere in the journal. Oops. And then these beautiful flowers here. I should probably just do this. So they're not stickers, but they're just embellishments to put anywhere in the journal or on another project. Look at these vintage dried roses. So pretty. A basket full of flowers. And that just goes right here. There's Annabella again. She's thinking, where can I go and get some more vintage laces? I should give her Sierra's YouTube channel so she can go on the live. <laughs> and then here's a journaling tag, so it's beautiful. And here's a postcard. And I have tucked in this tea dyed lace. And here's a charm here, a vintage bow charm down here. With some vintage, very vintage lace. Delicate. 
pretty colors. More tea dyed. So pretty. And then there's Annabella and her friend again. And here in this lace that I ruffled and sewed, I made it into a tuck spot. And here's some journaling tags. And I put stickers on the back side there. So pretty. And I love the, the blues and the creams and the pinks and the greens in this kit. It's so pretty. And then here's another page with the wallpaper and Jennifer's tea dyed lace for a pocket I sewed in. It's so pretty. And here's a postcard here. These postcards are from Gingerbread Prints as well. I put a sticker on that one. And then I ruffled up this lace over here. And you can uh, put a picture here or journal in this area right here. It's so pretty. All the colors are just so pretty. And then I made another uh, vintage lace notepad with this vintage, very, very beautiful lace. So delicate and so pretty. with lots of papers that you could write on. And here is the back of that. Beautiful collaging. And here is the back. And I just stapled it so when you're done you'll have another vintage lace. Big piece. And then here is the last page and uh, the closure, the applique closure. And on the inside here I put a pocket and some more journaling tags here. With a paper clip. Isn't that a fun image? Look at the doggy looking at her. Drop a cookie. <laughs> so on the back of these, I put these stickers. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And I have it in this pocket. So this journal is made out of an envelope. And, and then I just sewed in the signature. So I hope that you like this journal, Annabella's Vintage Lace Journal. And it will be available in my Etsy shop if you are interested. But I thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope that you all have a blessed day and I will see you soon. Bye.